I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin and Don Hall with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Prayed to him all the time but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top though Funny how it's evaded and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord to kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me that she should take a girl straight to ecstasy. Hey, Shalom, DC. Really, it's like school, the universal and practical knowledge. We out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. We're not affiliated, associated with any other Islamic group on the face of the planet. If it doesn't say ISUBK, on the commanding journey, Ahana is not of the truth, okay? And when we say that, man, like, I want to go into this, man, that the white man has been a terrorist to black people, man. You understand me, man? Like, it's so it's so so much tragedy, right, already in the black neighborhood, right? Right? But the white man, he folded all of that. You understand me, right? He's shooting kids down just the other, just last month, right? He arrested, he arrested a 12-year-old kid, right? And charged him with a felon for selling his own mixed DVDs, I mean, his mixed C uh, CDs in the mall, right? But he wanted to be, he wanted him as a 12 year old, stand out on the corner and slaying crack cocaine. That's what he preferred that he do. But he don't want him to make an honest and decent living. You understand? Unless he get his damn hands in it. He wanted to be able to tax the young man or put his hands in anything a black man make. First of all, you make America black man. You're the greatest people on the face of the earth. You understand me, man? Stop taking damn shorts. Stop trying to make the love the oppressor, man. The white man has oppressed you for over 400 years in America, okay? But guess what else? Guess what else? Guess what? He has oppressed you before you came to America. The only reason why you was an African black man is because he ran you out of Israel. He ran you out of Israel in 78 AD, okay? Okay, and we got books to tell, tell you that, okay? 78 AD. You're not an African. We ran in there fleeing from Roman persecution, man. And they know this, okay? All the bougie, rich white boys, they know your true history. All right, y'all, shalom. They know your true history, man, all right? While he over here selling you a damn dream that you're an African, but you're not an African, okay? You understand me, right? All right, I'm gonna get some stuff for you, man. But the white man been hating you when you was in the womb, okay? We were struggling, blacks was, the black man was struggling with the white man in the womb. Contrary to what you think that they told you they different. He actually a closer brother to you than a damn African is. You're Semitic. A African is Hamitic. You can't be an African and be Semitic. You can't be a Jew and be Hamitic. You understand me? This is real Bible history right here. You understand me? This is real Bible history, okay? And the white man has had a violent history with you for over 6,000 years, man, okay? He killed you coming out of Egypt, okay? When you came out of captivity in Egypt, the white man came behind, snuck up behind the weak, the old, and the feeble, and he put him to death, okay? The white man I always had perpetual hatred for you, okay? Don't think he loved you, man. The Lord put him in him. The Lord put him in him to hate you, okay? Black man, why don't you start loving your people? Okay? Stop trying to love the damn white man and love your own. Black man step on your shoes, we want to shoot him down in the streets. 
we want to sell each other crack cocaine. You understand me? A black man can't stand a black woman. A black woman can't stand a, 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 a black man, okay? But then we gonna pour our hearts out. We gonna come up and fight like hell for the white man, okay? Give me a, give me a Genesis 20, 25 and 21, right? You got it? Read. Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord up for, and Isaac entreated the Lord up for his wife. And, the, and Isaac entreated of the Lord for his wife because his wife was barren. She couldn't have babies, right? Isaac wanted a baby, right? Read. Because she was barren. Because she was barren. We already know what barren means. Barren means that you can't bear something, right? She was barren. Read. And the Lord was intrigued of him. And the Lord was intrigued of Isaac, meaning he loved what Isaac was doing. The, the Isaac was following the statue law the commandments of the Lord. So the Lord was entreated of Isaac, right? Read. Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And she did what? Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And his wife conceived, right? Isaac conceived, right? Rebecca couldn't, but he entreated of the Lord. And the Lord say, man, you've been a good guy, man. You've been a, you've been a hell of a brother, okay? You've been a hell of a guy. I'm going to let your wife have babies. Read. And the children struggled together within her. And guess what? Them babies, once she was, once she, once, once uh, Rebecca got pregnant, them babies were struggling in the womb. They were struggling together, right? Why, can anybody tell me why those babies were struggling in the womb? Can anybody tell me why those babies were struggling in the womb? Two babies was in that woman's womb, right? They struggled together, but she didn't know that, right? Read on. And she said, if it be so, why am I blessed? She was saying, if I'm blessed, why am I going through all these pains? You understand? Like she was going through horrible pains, man, because them babies were struggling. And the Lord said unto her, and the Lord said unto Rebecca, read. Two nations are. To what? Two nations. To what? Two nations. Now I thought we was friends. The Lord said two nations. I want y'all to hear this clear. He said two nations, read. Are in thy womb. Are where? Are in thy womb. Two nations are in Rebecca's womb, read. And two matter of and two manner of people shall and two different manner of people right another nation two different nations two different manner of people you understand me let me tell you something about a black man the black man is so forgiving the black man is so forgiving we done forgave the white man for 400 years of abuse and guess what we black people walk by and don't even want us to talk about the white man that abused us for 400 years. Negro, Uncle Tom Sambo Coon Negro gonna come up and say, oh, that's hate speech. That's because you're trying to turn a blind eye. But you're not gonna turn a blind eye to your brother that's walking and standing right next to you in the neighborhood. You understand me? You get a little money, you wanna move out the neighborhood because you don't wanna take care of your people. Okay? Read. And two men of people shall be separated from thy bow. And, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And one gonna be stronger than the other one, man. One people gonna be stronger than the other one, man. That white boy, John R. Moore, wrote a book. That white boy said, if it was any nation of other people that went through what black people went through, they'd be eradicated off the face of the earth, okay? They'd be eradicated, but guess what? The Lord said he wasn't gonna destroy you utterly. Or he wasn't gonna get rid of you utterly. That's another clue to let you know that the Lord dealing with you, black man. He giving you a period of time to get yourself together. You understand me, man? The first thing you gotta do is come over here and get a flyer, man, okay? Learn how to love your people. Let me tell you something, us coming out here, we mad about the white man killing our people, that's love for our people, man. You understand me? And let me tell you something about love and hate, right? Love and hate is complementary of each other. You can't love the people that's always killing your people. You understand me? You're not gonna love the people that's killing your daughters and your sons, okay? The white man has been a terrorist to black people, man. Why the hell are we still trying to love him, man? Who, who, should, 
listen, if you don't like what we say, why the hell are you even mad about us talking about the white man being a terrorist to black people? The white man being a terrorist in the earth, man. And don't think the Lord not gonna repay him. The Lord is gonna repay the white man for all the evil deeds he's done, okay? It's recorded in this book right here. The Lord already knew that he was gonna be evil. You understand me, Reed? Reed? And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder shall serve the younger, man, okay? The white man's supposed to be serving you. And guess what he knows, man? To keep you in your wickedness, man, to keep you in your wickedness, right? He knows that he's gonna prosper while you in your wickedness. You understand? We simply tell you to come out here, get a flyer. Learn how to love your brothers and sisters, man, okay? Nobody's fighting for the, nobody's fighting for the justice of Trayvon Martin. We come out here and tell you the white man is evil as hell, man, right? Y'all wanna forgive him for what he did to Trayvon Martin. I ain't gonna forgive him for a damn thing, okay? That's because we don't honor our lives as being valuable. And then you're gonna form up a damn group and say Black Lives Matter, and you got white people in your damn movement. Now you got a watered down movement because guess what? They ain't gonna be able to take what we saying. That's the reason why this is the only movement for blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians that mean anything to the most high. You understand me, man? You understand me? They put Christ to death. You understand? Because Christ was supposed to be king. And Herod say, go kill him. Go find him and kill him. You understand me? He wanted him dead, a black man. And then they paint you the picture like Jesus Christ was white. Like if that ain't hate, that's racist to the, listen man, that's racist to the match to paint Jesus Christ a white man, okay? That's hatred to the match. And then he'll say, it don't matter. Well, if it didn't matter, why didn't you leave him the same color he was in the book? But the white man is so damn evil, and then he tells you to love everybody after he take over the whole damn earth. You understand me? Drop that, give me Psalms 53 and eight, man. Give me Psalm 53 and eight, man. You understand me, man? You can't, you can, you can politic for the white man all damn day, right? But it's not gonna make him love you, black man. The white man being a racist bastard and a hate and hate monger, right? He don't, listen, it's okay to love your people, but the white man kills. You understand me? He kills innocent people. He killed black people. Black people have been submissive to the damn white man for over 400 years, man. And him killing you today is just overkill, man. You understand me? Really? You got it? 50. Yeah, 50, 50, 53 and 8. No, I said, song, 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 my bad. Song 53 and 8. Read. Right, give me please that 7 to 13. All right? All right? Whatever, listen, man, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Don't matter how much the white man say he loves you, man, it's a damn trick, okay? It's a goddamn trick. Don't believe that, man. There ain't no good white people on the face of the earth. If there was, you know what they would do? You know what a white man would do if it was good white people on the earth? You know what they would do? They wouldn't give you giblets or, or little pieces of, little, little, little bits of, I'm gonna give you a hamburger today. I'm gonna give you a water today. I'm gonna give you what's coming tomorrow. You know what? This whole land belonged to the Israelites. The tribe of Gad and Simeon, I'm gonna say the tribe of Gad and Reuben was here already, man, okay? They was here, man, okay? He kidnapped you out of Africa, and guess what? He paying every damn body reparations, but guess what? He don't even want to give you $200 worth of food stamps and then say you drain the system. Yeah. Well, guess what he doing? He sending 80 something billion dollars to the damn white man that's claiming he's a Jew, right? Over in Israel, right? Right. right? So the white man gonna take care of his own and put you more and more further on poverty because this is what he know about you. He can give you damn, he can give you pennies and you ain't gonna fight for nothing else. You gonna take that penny and be happy. Why the hell you gonna fight? Why the hell you gonna be happy with a penny when the whole earth belonged to you? The Most High gave you the whole earth. That's the reason why you're the greatest in the earth. That's why you jump the highest, shoot the best, run the damn fastest, cook the best. Listen, what is that you don't do? What is it that you don't do? You understand? And guess what? If you, if we had to, if a black man had to go to war, guess what? He goes to war, man. Okay. And guess what? We, we, we greater at that if we have to go there. Okay. All of the wars that have been won in America would not have been won 
would not have been won if it wasn't for blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. You understand me, man? The white man is a goddamn coward. If he can't shoot you in the back, if he can't shoot you in the back while you're running away, he ain't gonna face you face to face. Unless you ain't got a gun. If you ain't got a gun, then he'll shoot you. You understand me? Because guess what he know? He's a coward, and guess what? He's the base man in the earth. Okay, the white man hates you, black man. All I wanted was to be a gangster. I ain't lying, I was close to dying. Knew I wanted to live, but I wasn't trying. I was defiant, not knowing that this ain't how we live. This just how they design. Cause when you win them streets, you get more indignant. They don't tell you gon' be on papers and on restrictions. My father said I hard had to make a soft ass. I didn't care, I wanted fear when I walked past. In the place where a black man's blood is cheap. I thank the Lord for the day I was on Lake Street. Pissing in the cup, back and forth to court Found the D.C. school, I swear it felt like I crawled on that fucking porch The Lord said, my sheep, they ain't hear my voice Ask me why I'm UPK, I told them I ain't have a choice They said God ain't 50 50 and what's gonna come to pass The Lord called me out the world and I start running fast All I wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know, I wasn't danger This is 